Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raven's Nest, and tonight we're doing another daily challenge, and I hope that this one doesn't last a week. <laughs> Anyways, yes, daily challenge. Today we got Kraz the Novice. Just to remind you guys, last week we had the most glorious run in the history of Raven. And we had another we actually have another raven that place in third but the the raven of crimson which is me made it to first place and uh the run lasted so long i had to split it in seven videos and it lasted a whole week and i just destroyed everyone by miles and i'm so freaking proud of this <laughs> anyways but i haven't done a single daily challenge since i've played gauntlet mode quite a bit but I haven't done, uh, I haven't really done any daily challenge since then. I haven't done it at all. So today, Kraz the Novice, let's get in and let us see where this brings us. Floor 1 on the Halls of Despair, we get Dragon Bile, uh, which I consider to be a good utility weapon, but definitely not a great main weapon. Got a jumping puzzle to start with. Ow. Luckily, Kraz is fairly tough. Like starting with 150 HP is actually quite high. And we get an amulet to start with, the Whirlwind of Lutha. Grants temporary invulnerability. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna keep the whirlwind this time. As much as I like poison, I need more damage. I need more damage in my kit right now. I don't have any uh, real form of damage. And the whirlwind is actually... Why am I getting... Glendor. Okay, so... The... Oh! <laughs> this might take a while. Okay, so I get it. I opened up, saw the daily challenge screen, and then it probably just switched to the day after. So this is going to be another Glindor run. Yeah, that has no chance of being long. Okay, well, let's do this. Glendor, what you got for me, brother? And the whirlwind is useless. Oh, no, it's not useless against these guys, it seems. It still can reach. Didn't I hear a... Yeah, I heard a storm beast. I did not hallucinate that. Ow. Kill, 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 kill. There we go. Glendor again. Holy crap. I didn't... I was like, okay, if it's anyone but Glendor, I'll do another daily challenge for the day. And then it turned out to be Glendor. And the secret room is off the boss room. So good thing I don't have the key yet. That means I can do it right now. And get that perk. Damn. Okay, attracts items from a further distance. A decent utility perk. Uh, certainly, you know, if if I had the choice to take that or most other positive perks, I would take the other perk. But I'm not going to complain ha from having it. Uh, I don't have any mana. I could do the free one. Receive more damage, get more experience from knowledge gems. Yeah, th that's the definition of an end difference. You get more XP, but you lose more health. I'm gonna sacrifice some health. Increased attack rate is very good, actually, for me. Um, because uh, Glindor's wand is actually quite low. Explosive carrots. Go. 
We got level two from that. Ooh, sensitivity. Do I go for an all or nothing here? Triple experience. This is huge. No, I'm going to go for the drop rate. I'm going to go for the safe play. I'm going to go for the safe play instead of the risky play because I've already got that uh, that uh, divine indifference that does kind of the same thing, but to a lesser extent. I heard carrots. Give me that. Whoa, run. There we go, poison spitter. You're done. I didn't even think about using my amulet. Okay, so this run might not be as long as I thought it would be. Bigger enemies, that means bigger targets for me. I'm happy with that. Gotcha. No, we're never for that amulet. Does the whirlwind reach him? I think it does damage him a bit. Yes, it does. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Uh, the whirlwind actually has better range than I thought. I was talking... Uh, like, I was watching uh, Mr. Doncroft's stream not that long ago. And he was mentioning how much he loved the the, uh, the Whirlwind as a weapon because it can really clear rooms really quickly if you got a lot of ground-based enemies. And um, now I, can't of, I kind of understand why. Because the vertical range of the Whirlwind is deceptively high. Ow. I'm only 24 HP right now. This is bad in every way. Okay, I got... Oh, got some health here. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Ow. Thank you. Got a level 3 here. Uh, Talented Alchemist. I'm going to count on having decent weapons here. Where the fuck is that skull? There you are. Wow, that was annoying. Visible enemies. How massively annoying was that? Time for the boss fight. And um, my memory serves me right. It is King Blob that we have to encounter here with near no mana. So I got to do it mostly with my wand. Not looking great. If he drops some blue mana, though, I could pull off. Running away because Glindor is quite slow. Holy fire raid, Batman. He has a lot more fire rate than I thought. That whirlwind is doing work. A lot more work than I expected it to. Okay, I guess this is the second thing about this game where uh, rebuttal, where where the rebuttal of of my bias has been effective, I guess. So floor one is clear. We just destroyed King Blob and got a perk that gives me a faster recharge time on my invincibility amulet. Yeah, this run could take a while.
Emberstone Quarry. So we got the Staff of Atlantis, which is a great weapon. And it could actually complete the Whirlwind quite well because of the freeze effect. It's a very good utility weapon, as well as a very good um, damage weapon as well. It does a fair amount of damage. Ow. 142 HP. Get some green over here. Storm Beast. Freeze the Storm Beast. There you go. Kill. Line him up, knock him down. There we go. Nicely done. Kill the Storm Beast. These are way too annoying for my liking. What do we got? Anything over here? Nothing over here. Oh, yeah, there's one skeleton. Nicely done. Use the mana for this. And then kill, 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 kill. Gotta level up again. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Oh, man. Do I go for Druid? Yes. Tanky is better. But then again, mana regen. If I get a really good orange weapon, I'm gonna bite my freaking fist off. If I get a really good alchemy weapon and don't take mana regen. I'm gonna go for mana regen. Probably... There's a 50% chance that I'm going to regret this. But I think it'd be the alternative. Glindor being so tanky, I believe I can afford it. Come on, whirlwind. No way. Gotcha. There we go. And one more. There we go. And there's some green over there. Grab the green. Kill the golem. That's a wasted whirlwind, though. Where's the last skull? There he is. Get over here. There. And there. You're dead. So it works against low-flying enemies as well. Which is very useful to know. Uh, don't see any secret doors over here. Moving on. I haven't seen any secret doors whatsoever. So far. On this run. Uh, on, on this floor. I should say. No mana or health indicator. Well, that's gonna be fun. Especially when my mana getting drained all the time. Oh. I see imps. Me hate imps. I don't like imps at all. How about you die, please? Whoa! Okay, no, that is very dangerous. Health potion, yes. More health, yes. You. Okay, no, we're, 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 we're bringing it back. 71 HP, fucking hell. 
Oh, I didn't even think about using my amulet. I gotta stop doing that. Like, I have a few, a few invincibility seconds that I can use to my advantage, and I'm not doing it. That's probably gonna be the death of me if I don't use it to its fullest extent. I tend to really underuse amulets now that I think about it. I gotta go back to the wand here. Nothing here, nothing here. Let's go, let's go check the other side. That is a secret room. Right in here with a health potion is even better. Berserker is a nice skill to have, but again, a bit like uh, yeah, Berserker is good. A bit like the Lekinetic, though. It, like I wouldn't choose that over a lot of others, but okay, that's Lady Audrey we gotta fight. The Whirlwind actually does wonders against Lady Audrey because it can kill the tentacles so fast. We got level 6. Talented Spellcaster. Vigilant. Want to go for Spellcaster? Because that's Whirlwind. Keep dodging to the side with these suckers. You want to dodge long range and to the side is how you can manage it with these freaking eyeballs or you can freeze them that also works quite well and score score not that one the map yeah I did get the secret room on this floor let's just move on score goblet some mana here some poison move it in what do we got more freaking eyeballs I'm gonna go for the amulet just so I can build up. There we go. Took a few hits while invincible. And now I have mana. That is what I should be using that amulet for, actually, is rebuilding my mana reserves. Yo! Very nice, very, very nice. That is a jumping puzzle for which I'm going to lose all of my mana, but the perk is usually worth it. Come on! Oh, yeah. Shock amulet. So, damage or invincibility? No question there. No question there. Invincibility just stays. Time for the boss fight. So time to go for Lady Audrey. I'm going to run there as fast as I can. Just so I have some mana left when the, starts, when the fight starts. Mother Nature Incarnate. Come on. Come on, open up. Sweet back step. And she's 
low half already. Now that weapon combo actually works really nicely against Lady Audrey. I am taking a fair bit of damage now though. Grab the mana, she's open. Kill, 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 she's dead. Dropped a whole bunch of mana. Whole bunch of health. My amulet's full. I'm um, full mana, almost full health, and we're down to floor three. So that is it for part one of this daily challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. As for me, I'm Raven, and I'll see you in part two.